Welcome to the Ideal Minute. Today we are at the coolest Ace Hardware, in my mind, in the world. Uh, today we're going to meet with uh, Joe. Joe is the owner of not only this Ace Hardware, but eight around. He has uh, taken um, an opportunity to look at our school, and so we figured we would come and meet with him and talk about his Ace, because it is the place. Let's go in and meet Joe. We're apparently, we're going to go in the exit. Hey, Joe. Hey, Clay. How good. you doing? Hey, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome hey, to Ace. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to uh, show us your store. Oh, great. Glad to do it. Yeah. Took a little bit more time and walked through, and uh, it's pretty impressive. Well, um, thank you. And everything yeah, that you got. Been here over 60 years now. 60 years. 60 That's years. awesome. And you were telling me earlier that your dad and your grandpa. Yep. Race. Yep. Drove across the country looking a place to move out of Chicago, and they stopped in Tucson, fell in love with it, and... Six years later, we're still here. Now, I haven't asked you this question, but what's your favorite part of the store? I love it all. Yeah? I mean, it's the perfect business to be in. Yes. Well, I noticed something just walking around, and I got to ask you about it. So, um, as and I talked to you this when I met with you for Ideal the other day. What, what made you decide to try to carry only one of something? Like, you know, for, for instance, the... The thing I couldn't find anywhere was old shower faucets. I couldn't find them anywhere. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go see if they got them at Ace. And yeah. somehow you guys had one just waiting out for me. And I was like, yeah. they knew I needed that. Yeah, we cater to the customers when they come in and ask for something. If we don't have it, we find it. If the faucet was used in the neighborhood 60 years ago when the store opened, we still stock it because there's a lot of the homes that are still the old home. Nobody's updated them, so they still need all the old faucets and doorknobs and old-fashioned window cranks and all that stuff. So now, if if um, if you guys don't have it, what, can I talk to you guys and say, hey, can this is what I need and you guys will find it for yep, us? Yep, we'll find it, we'll order it, and search all over the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, you've got eight other stores in, Correct. in town? Mostly on the east side? or Correct. Yeah, we have one of ours is on 9th and Euclid by the U of A, but the rest are all on the east side and one in Corona de Tucson. That's awesome. Okay. Some of the best candy. Um, who would have thought to come to Ace Hardware for uh, uh, soda? Um, candy. It was down this aisle. I was walking, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's all the way toward the front. It's just so far, you, you don't realize all the stuff that you have. We, I noticed that you guys have a phenomenal uh, barbecue and uh, rub section. Yep, lots of sauces, <laughs> rubs. And I thought, dip. well, I guess now I need to come come this direction for, uh, for that. Soda, over this... 200 different types of sodas from all over the world, all over the country. Yeah, anywhere from birch soda to Salary. Chocolate covered make maple smoked bacon soda. Yep. Breakfast in a bottle. It's got everything. Very, very cool. Very cool. I was walking by something a minute ago and uh, it's called Unicorn Spit. It's in the, in the, in the front. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there. I was like, what is this? That's uh, a special paint. Yeah. And I thought, great. Now if I bring my kids here, they're going to want me to buy Unicorn Spit. Yep. We carry lots of little doodads and knickknacks and crazy stuff. Now, hats we do engraving. If you want stuff personally engraved, we can do your Yeti, we can make you wood plaques, all sorts of different things. Oh, so you guys will engrave on wood and metal and Correct. So if I bring something in, you guys will engrave on it or yep. stuff that as you As long as it fits in this machine here, we're able to do it. What's uh, what's some of the newest stuff that you've added here? Well, we've got like every year this is our Christmas building, but right now it's big on outdoor living and barbecue, not barbecue fireplace. We do benches, benches, lots of fireplace stuff, um, fireplace repair, and in the back we got a whole bunch of outdoor furniture and stuff for the backyards. So when you um, when you got this place, was this the first store you guys opened in town, or was yes, it was, yeah, and it was in the first building you you walked into, and that was the one in '62, and then we had a nursery. And then over the years, we kept buying each building and adding on to it. So we went from basically 15,000 to 50,000 square feet. Yeah. And so, and we're actually the first ace west of the Mississippi. Right. So that moved out this far west. 
And why, and why did they end up in Tucson? Well, they were driving to California to look at. They stopped in Tucson and really liked how Tucson was back in 1960. Kind of a small town, very cool. Yeah. And they stayed. Like everybody else. Once you yep. come, it's hard to get out, exactly. out of here. <laughs> exactly. Cool. You know, and I think they drove in February or March. So oh, <laughs> that'll do they it. They left snow and came to 80, 90 degrees. That's that's great. What was here? Before, what, what? Believe it or not, this, this used to be... Um, pizza pub really it was a small pizza restaurant yeah and then next door was Wong's Chinese restaurant and the building that's the next one over there used to be a health spa an auto parts store and liquor barn oh huh. so and then in the building next door we have a hobby shop uh-huh so if you like trains planes automobiles yes it and- stocks it and we, we heard that you're looking at opening a museum here shortly. Yes, on, on eventually stuff. I've been collecting cars since I was 14. So hopefully in the next six months we'll have a car museum that people could come visit. Yeah. What's your favorite one that you got? Um, probably my car. I like Model Ts. I have the original Model T I bought and my 65 Mustang I drove to high school. Oh, yeah. Still have it. The, the sentimental value of those. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. So one of the things I was noticing is uh, I was trying to figure out how to explain this ACE, and I was like, it's it's like uh, tractor supply and Lowe's and and, yep. uh, Auto, and AutoZone all had a baby, but then I realized that that's not the case, too, because you got cooking supplies yep, here. lots of housewares, gadgets, uh, cast iron skillets, appliances, cookie cutters. Here's a cool aisle right over here. The hey, cookie cutters. Where did the cookie cutters see, go? See, even even Joe has trouble exactly. fighting, <laughs> fighting which is his favorite aisle here. <laughs> yeah, because we probably carry 200 different types of cookie cutters. Oh, yeah, there, there we they go. are. There's oh, the that, aisle. Who knew? See? Yeah. You guys do. That is a, quite the array Yeah. of cookie cutters. So, and it's all baking aisles and stuff. Oh, the prices are fantastic, too. Oh, yeah. You can still buy stuff for under a dollar. See, I didn't know this aisle existed either. Yeah. I'm glad we found it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Joe knew it was here. We just yeah, got to figure it, out it which one it is. It used to be over there, and then it was over here. They aisle 77 the with the, yep, uh, the, exactly. the massive amount of cookie uh, So, And we have a kitchen, cutters. two in here. We do, at one time before COVID, we did cooking demonstrations on uh, different appliances and stuff to use. We got a huge barbecue section with Weber, Big Green Egg, and Traeger. One of the things I, I really like is that you guys are now doing custom cabinets, I hear. Yes, we have our own wood shop. Yes. So they'll do vanities, kitchen cabinets. They'll fix if you've got broken furniture, you could bring it in. They'll repair it. Yes. Do all sorts of things. And this is the rub aisle we were talking about. Oh, yeah, the take sauces. a look at this. Now, the, I didn't see the, 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 the one that I love buying, a hot sauce. I'm gonna to have to tell you to get is is called the bomb. You ever heard of it? I have. It's terrible. It's the worst hot sauce in the world. But it is it. it we do this uh, hot wing challenge at my house. Uh-huh. So we invite people over and then feed them terrible sauces. And that's one of them. And that's one of them. So uh-huh. that's. And one of our big sellers, which duck fat. What? And it's a spray. Really? Yep. Spray your grill, your pans. I like and it. I didn't know about that. We started carrying that about a year ago when we probably sell three, four hundred a year. Really? So. I didn't know about that either. Have to give that a shout out too. Yep. And you guys even got the green egg. You got, got the green egg, the new oh. Traeger. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. That's a beast. I haven't even seen that one yet. Yep. And we carry all the brands of the um, pellets. We carry blends of pellets, lots of Weber stuff, Weber little grills in different colors. Yeah, see, I didn't. Th- that's also nice to know. I, I I wait till Costco comes in and out on their on their pellets, and you. Yeah. And your prices are really good too. Yep. Oh, and you got all the rubs and everything. Yep. You guys have everything here. Yeah. Even Traeger T-shirts. Traeger T-shirts, and then of course we have all of the regular stuff that normal Ace Hardware's have. Yes. So what made you decide to? to do that to this ACE hardware rather than, you know, all of your ACEs. Well, is there a reason? Well, our store on Houghton and Valencia is big in barbecue, and they're also big in fishing and hunting uh-huh. and hobbies. They have a big hobbies, RC cars and stuff in there. So we just listed the customers. If, 
if things go out like there's no hobby shops left in the city. So you just look at there's a hole now, let's open our hobby shop. Yeah. We started with one aisle in the store and people kept coming in wanting more and more stuff. So we kept adding and then a building came available, bought the building and now we got a full hobby shop. So what is, what is um, it, because you're Ace, right? And you have the corporation of Ace. So what do they say? Uh, is this common with Ace Hardwares to go bigger like this? Or? Yeah, there's a lot of them that go into specialties. There's a, a bunch that are, they, I hate call them cookie cutters, but they're the, kind of the same. But then you have maybe 15% where the owners love to bring in stuff for the area or stuff that their community needs and just keep building and building the business. And the more you add, the more you sell. Right. And you Ace can, is like, we love it? Or? Oh, yeah, they love it. They you, want that. They want the niches. Yeah. Do you and have Ace, to get approved from them? No. Or? No. You Like the barbecue was one of the things Ace was pushing about five, ten years ago. Uh -huh. And once you jump on board and do it, your sales skyrocket. And, you know, I never would have thought that people would spend four or $5,000 for a barbecue grill. But right. if you love to cook outdoors... It's well worth it. Yeah, those triggers are good too. The front of the store and the windows, we put some murals. This mural here is the store when it opened up in 61, 62. And that's what it used to look like with the zigzag roof and stuff. And then the next mural is a store my dad and grandfather, which they're standing in front of it, had in Downers Grove, Illinois. It, which one's dad, which one's grandfather? This grandpa? one's my dad, and that's my grandfather. And this was an Ace Hardware they had on Milwaukee Avenue in Chicago, and that's my dad when he was 18. Oh, wow. So, and that store, believe it or not, was only 1,500 square feet. Really? And they had an apartment upstairs the family lived at. Yeah. So, and the next picture, even though it looks old, it's our 9th Street store. Uh -huh. So I brought some of my old cars out there and filmed in it. And that's um, kind of a replica of the store they had in Downers Grove with the old Ace labels or logos on it and stuff. So. That's neat. That is cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah. So how long did they work at the? Did they work at any of these? They, they I hate to say it, my they're my parents. Around. No, they're oh. unfortunately they're not. My mom and dad both heavily involved in the business. They worked up until the day they died. Really? They loved the business also. And once you have that passion, it's hard to leave. Yeah. You know, and it keeps you going. It keeps so, you alive. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. It I gives tell, you a lot of drive. Tell people that all the time. As soon as you retire, give up on something. You're, you, oh yeah, the Lord just takes you off the Ex off the earth. Exactly, and you just need the passion for the business, and they have it. And so, and hopefully, I'm the third generation. I could pass it on to the fourth and the fifth, and just keep it going. And now we're coming into the hobby shop, and then there's murals, which one of my favorite cars, the Bullet Mustang. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you driving a. A Mustang uh, the other day at Ideal. Yep, uh, that was it. We'll have, to, we'll have to go for a little race. Now I'll have to find the key to this building. <laughs> oh, lottery ticket day. Yep. <laughs> Let me go turn the lights on. So um, what made you decide to uh, do the hobby shop here? Customers well, again? Well, that and the, the, all the hobby shops closed. Um, I got in with a train club and they couldn't buy G-scale trains anywhere. Uh -huh. So we brought in G-scale trains and they did real well so then we brought in the other trains and we had a small section in the main store and then this building came available so now we have HO uh, we got plastic models we've got RC cars RC airplanes and military stuff yeah this is neat yeah we got Legos because that's another big hole is in <laughs> store is a little messy right now they're stocking but we got a whole big counter full of legos who who would have known that we could have bought legos at ace hardware yeah that's what i'm well, talking about toys r us gone you right yeah it stuffed another hole in the community and here's joe picking up the uh yeah the holes so joe when are you going to make all of your aces like this 
Yeah, that would be a great thing. As soon as you could start building them <laughs> We're only, at an uh, affordable price. Yeah, that, well, if you can make module editions, we could just keep adding on to the it. hardware we're, store. We're working on it together. We'll uh, we'll get that uh, squared yeah. away. You got you guys even have all of the uh, Star Wars and yep and Marvel and the Gundam stuff here is real popular. Yeah, and your prices are are better than buying them at the Disney store for sure. That's it. Exactly. On, on your sign, I saw you have Pokemon cards now. Uh, we do. We sell Pokemon cards. Where they are, I don't know, but yeah. they're in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So oh, that's that's neat. So you do you have a besides collecting cars? Do you have a hobby besides that? Or? Um, mainly cars. Yeah. I do. I've collected cameras over the years and stuff like that i have some license plates i've collected yeah and i have die cast cars and all that and i have models i built when i was probably 12 13 years old that i still have today yeah you know so one of the things that i deal that we do that i think is super important is we get people to use their hands and how important that is do you think that uh growing up and using your hands and on cars and automotives has made you more successful in your later days oh, being yeah. able to associate that stuff to exactly it gives you ideas of the nuts and bolts you need to stock bringing in parts for the cars the plumbing stuff you need all the brass fittings right. the hose and that's what we do if we don't have stuff that people come in for we added to nuts and bolts we probably have the largest selection of nuts and bolts in in the city right you, what do you? Uh, what, what are some of the struggles that Ace Hardware goes through now? Um, you know, with the pandemic and and and, and labor, you guys haven't. Well, one of the problems is finding knowledgeable people because yeah. schools don't have, you know, wood shop anymore, metal shop, automotive. You know, back when I went to school, you could do all that stuff. Now you can't. Yeah. So, and it's great what you guys are doing because it's going to train a lot of people to work with their hands, build stuff. Because in probably 10 years, most of the guys that are doing construction are older, there won't be guys to build anything. Yep, yeah, exactly. Cool, so now we are in the cabinet shop. Yep. What made you decide to start building cabinets? Um, Kitchen remodel of yeah, your own house? No, no. <laughs> well, we, we just started uh, with a small shop in our warehouse and it just kept expanding and pretty soon this building behind the hobby shop was available. So we just added this in and got three guys with lots of talents that could build anything you want. Um, we've probably been doing this eight to 10 years now and we've done a lot of kitchens, a lot of uh, furniture repair. You know, if you could dream it, these guys can build it. So now you can come for your chocolate maple bacon soda and your kitchen cabinets. Yep. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Um, so they can they come in for custom design? Will you draw it out or do they yep, need to bring they'll, in? They'll draw it out, you know, they'll visit you at your site, wherever you want. Closets, anything. Entertainment centers. I like this. I love the smell too. Yep, exactly. The, the, the smells are good. Yeah, growing up we had um, seven members of the family. So every time you went to a restaurant, they'd always seat you at a table yeah. for six. <laughs> So you're always cramped. So I always said, you know, when we have kids, we'll always have an even number so we get a right table. And this actually is an old house that was built for the Chinese cooks when that was a Chinese restaurant. Really? They would bring Chinese guys in here for about six months at a time and they'd live in here and they'd rotate them through. All right, so this is Power Tools. Yeah, this is our Ace Outdoor Power Center. Which I didn't know existed either. Actually, yeah. I drove by it, but I didn't realize it was part of Ace. Yep, they sell uh, rain barrels, power equipment, steel, Husqvarna, Echo. So, we do all the repairs and everything all in-house. Yeah. Now, was this always Ace, or did you guys no, buy this? This used to be Irv's, Irv's no, Rental. Irv's facility. Rental, yeah. They, did so, they all go out of business everywhere? Uh, yeah, they did. And what we did is, because I'm a kind of a historical kind of guy, and I made 10 signs of kind of the history of Earth's right, Rental and what, what the buildings used to be. And, you know, we, since they were here the whole time we were, we were good friends with them and yeah. had a relationship probably for 55 years. So you sell and rent, is that and right And the here? grandson of Earth's is still working in the same oh, facility, yeah. John, over there. Hey, John. So, yeah, that's awesome. He's been in the same building for how many years, John? Probably about 30. 30 yeah, years. Oh, wow. So, and he looks like he's 29. That's right. It's so. in the water, I guess. Oh, yeah. That is. Yeah. It's in the water, yeah. That's awesome. 
So uh, let's see, you've got uh, chainsaws, you've got everything. Yeah. Trimmers. Um, even lots of lawn mowers and lawn tractors selling in Tucson, Arizona. Right. So, <laughs> right. Which is crazy. Who would have thought? You could right? mow your artificial grass. <laughs> you know, I heard I heard a stat. I don't I don't actually know if it's true that Arizona has some of the most amount of boats for a state. That's true. <laughs> like, it is. You so, do you have a boat? I do not. It's oh. one of the only things I would don't. you like to buy one? <laughs> and this is our part center. Oh, awesome. And we try to have all the common parts all in stock all the time and with covid right now it's a little harder to get stuff right but we still maintain a pretty good stock level of of everything so you do um do you do uh, like trenchers and 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 backhoes or any of that stuff no or just just well, the small um, stuff? The trenchers we could do but backhoes big tractors right. and stuff we we don't do it's all the basically the power equipment right on yard work and stuff now like that. Now, is there, you, will you work on all uh, brands? Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we can go next door to yeah, the let's take a look um, at that. repair center. So what made you decide to grab this when it came up? Um, well, we hired Paul, which was a steel employee, and he talked about, you know, if you built a power center, they will come. Right. So we started it in the store, kind of like the hobby shop, and then moved it into an office area we had, and then this came available, and bigger's better just keep adding to it and it's really taken off right and this is our repair facility oh yeah some of our top-notch mechanics right yeah, here look, look at that so they look like a bunch of studs they are and feel this shop air conditioned Isn't yeah, this wait beautiful? a second i know what's you going know, on with that they actually pay to work here because oh, yeah. it's so cool yeah so, <laughs> right yeah yeah, it's not even, it's not just swamp then, or, you know, it's AC. No, it huh? is just swamp coolers, oh, man, but it works well. We know that they're good because their swamp coolers are working well. Yep, exactly. We do leaf blowers, uh, chainsaws, lawn mowers. What else do you guys do? Blower backpacks? Yeah, we do Lawn tractors? Well. What brand do you guys end up fixing the most? A little bit of all of them. Most of it now is a fuel problem with everything. Yeah. And what we also offer, we have in-house sharpening too. And one of our offices on the way back, we could stop there and I'll show you our sharpening center. That's they do awesome. chainsaws and knives yeah, and knives you know anything with an edge. There's not a lot of places to do that in town anymore. No, that's another thing that's gone away. And we actually bought Chuck Sharpening Service okay. and got all of the equipment and moved it down here. It's awesome. And here's Paul. There's Paul. Yeah, he's our outdoor that's what I like. You see, you see how he's got it in his pocket? There we go, Paul. Good yeah. job. Yeah. So he's thinking of taking the course. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We've got, we, we love it. We, yeah. We're almost full for July. We went from 13 to 50 in six months. We were just going to go to 200, but we'll probably open 200 students in Phoenix and 200 here. Wow. So we're... We, my original plan was 12 students, 24 students, 54 students. I figured, you know, I could do that. But we got so many, such great support and got everything rolling that we go from 12 to 50 to 400. That's great. But that's the problem we have. And yeah. it's nuts. And so it's like, you know, we're not all- Not necessarily a bad problem. It's not, but it, you know, it's, you want to grow gradually, but the problem is so huge that if we don't tackle it now, we're all going to be in serious problems, yep. especially when all the old guys are retired. You know, most 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 of my great guys are look like you guys. Not that that's a yeah. bad thing, yeah. but that's they're good looking. Huh? They're good yeah. looking. Yeah. They're yeah. good looking guys, but yeah. they're at that age. So we'll, we'll yep. go take a little quick tour of sharpening. Yes, thanks. And you got all these hidden rooms in here. Yeah. And pinball machine. And pinball machine. Ooh. Yeah. This this is our sharpening center. Right now, since it's early morning, uh, our guy Nick isn't here yet, but we obviously do chainsaw blades, we do knives, and basically anything with an edge we could do. Do circular saw blades, hand saws, drill bits. So how, how do you sharpen one of these? Do you know? Um, there's actually a machine over there made by steel that uh, he uses. And you, ah, there you go. I've all, I have always wondered 
So you they sharpen each man. Each that's, one. That's te- by itself. that's tedious. Well, once he gets his rhythm down and he uses these nice old computer chairs to sit in, <laughs> hey, and he no just all day long basically that's what he does. And that's probably the thing we sharpen the most is chainsaw blades. Now nonstop. I always have this question in my head. It seems is it cheaper to sharpen it than to buy a new one? I'm guessing it's, it does. It's or? cheaper to, to sharpen them. Really? And But you can only sharpen them for so long, and then they lose their rake, I believe it's called, and then it loses a lot of its cutting efficiency. But they can readjust the rake, and they get the angle right. There's quite a science to sharpening a chainsaw yeah. blade. Oh, I believe it. I know it. a lot of guys in the field do it with a file, but this thing does a precision edge on it and works out real nice. That's, um, I've always wondered exactly what that looks like. Now, well, now I know. Yeah. And now, now you all know too. That exactly. Rather than buy a new one. Now there's, pro- is there some chain, there's probably some chainsaw blades that just don't, aren't made anymore. But we can make chainsaw blades. You come in with your old one or your model number, uh-huh. we could put together a blade. See? And they do that at Outdoor Power. Ace is the place. Well, Joe's Ace on 22nd and Cold is the place. Yeah. Well, and the other ones are pretty good, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is my favorite yeah. one. Oh, cool. It, it's now my new favorite one now that I actually know all, everything else that goes on, too. It's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, all together we employ 208 people. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, is that, uh, have you, is that about where you stay, or would you prefer to have more in no, there? No, that's, that's we, right now we're at pretty full I think we have a couple of openings but everything's good right now we've gotten hired some more people but things wow. have hopefully leveled out and everybody stays awesome well they also do screens too I bring yeah, out screens, we repair screens we do All glass windows and we've had a lot of employees that have been here 30 35 years yeah. So a lot of them that started 18 19 years old eventually worked their way up become a store manager and Retire out. Yeah. Now, Ace also, you told me they were doing a, a handyman program in, in the Right. East. Ace bought out a, a handyman franchise out of Colorado, and now you could buy zip codes, and it's Ace called Ace Handyman Service, and have your own handyman business. Be great for one of your students. Yeah. To, yeah, we're very excited about yeah. that, actually. Are you a pinball fan? What are these doing here? I mean... Well, since I collect fire trucks, they're actually fire pinball uh, machines. Fire pinball machines. Yeah. A little dusty, but they still hopefully all still work. Well, you're now standing in our Ace Museum, which will then be eventually part of the car museum too. We'll have a room in there with that. But it's products and stuff Ace sold over the years, and toys, and we've got some battery like this battery here. Is back be when they called it Ace Stores before it was. Look at that. Yeah, so this battery is from probably the 20s, maybe the early 30s. And if anything says Ace Stores on it, it's one of the original products that Ace started with. So and we've been collecting this stuff ever since we opened. So anytime we found anything unique, we saved. Now, were you, was your, was your grandpa your dad a collector? Or did that My dad you? was it somewhat, but I'm probably the, the big collector junkie. I have a lot of, of stuff. And it's just neat because, you know, if you don't save part of history, it's gone. Yeah. Now, did, did that get passed down to any of your kids? Yeah, did, they're all like it. I always tell them, you know, when I'm gone, I'm really sorry that yeah, what yeah, I've left you. Right. Yeah, they got so, a little bit of work to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, they either have to keep it up or figure out what to do with it. Yeah. But hopefully that we'll so the good thing is if it all winds up in the auto museum, then it's all contained under one roof. That's perfect. Now, do, you, do any of your kids work at Ace? Yep, three of them do right now and possibly four. They seem to all have the same passion for the business. And yeah. my parents and grandparents would be very proud that it's continuing. Because yeah. so often the, the son takes over the business or the second or third generation and it doesn't do so well yeah but you know that's always been a thing in the back of my head you don't want to be that guy right so you work harder to make it bigger and better and what they did if it worked well you just continue with what they do yeah and keep the passion alive yeah the apprentice has to outdo the master that's it exactly (laughs) you're a kung fu guy (laughs) exactly you know little by little you know yeah 
keep telling my kids, they say, you got to earn it. You got to work for it. It's yep, exactly. Very important. That's neat. Well, That'll, thank you. Oh, did you guys make the table or buy the table? We did. The table's made in the wood shop. All right. Showing off their skills. Exactly. What's your favorite thing in here? Oh, I like those batteries. batteries. Those, those batteries, because there can't be very many around. And what's funny is um, people know I collect this, so if they go to a yard sale and they find old A stuff, they'll buy it and come bring it to me. Yeah, that's cool. And so, yeah, we have a pipe wrench here, too, that's A stores also. And right there. I have one of those. You really? I do, yeah. It says A stores? I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, really? And That'd I didn't be very cool. I didn't, I didn't realize it until there. Yeah. It's, it's that old. It looks just like oh, that. Oh, yeah. That pipe wrench is going on probably 100 years old. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have that. Mine's a little smaller, actually. But I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Yeah. I have to go look at it now. And then we have stuff like they gave away at the A shows. Looks like a spray paint can, but it's an old radio. <laughs> and it advertises the labels from probably the 70s is what that's from. And I'll save Ace Golf Balls when they had Ace Label Golf Balls. And then... They did a lot of Ace Banks, and this was a line of Ace paint from the 70s called Happy Days. And then people don't know what these are anymore, but they're ashtrays. Right? They yeah. used to give those away at the Ace Show. Do they still do Ace Shows? They do, and we do two a year. And they move them around the country, and the next one's going to be in Chicago. Is that where Ace started with Chicago? That's where Ace started in 1924. Now you said that your uh, grand grandpa had what, like number eight of Ace? Well, we store had. Or? He bought a store with number 11. 11. And when they opened uh, their next store, it was number 150. So we had 150th Ace. Right. And then this store, when it opened, there was only 420 Aces. So that shows you how old the store is. And now they're probably at about six to seven thousand stores. Oh all over the world. Thank you for taking some time with us at the Ideal Minute with Joe Findus at the coolest ace anywhere. Anywhere. Uh, I, I was gonna say in Tucson, but it, uh, anywhere I've ever been, uh, by far the coolest yep. ace, and we appreciate you taking the time. It is more than you can imagine, um, and it's Joe Findus. Findus. Joe yes. Findus, spelled Very with good. a Z, right? With a Z. With a Z, yes. Yeah. It'll auto-correct the fines. Uh, yeah, with, good with luck. It. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I appreciate uh, everything you've said. Appreciate it, done. too. Thank you, Joe. Thank we you. appreciate it.